Here's a short video to understand how to use the headset. So the three kind of key components, the three buttons, you've got your on at the side there and you hold that in for a couple of seconds. And you can see that's turned on. Um, the center button, if you hold that in, it will start to flash. And then that's where you can pair your phone to the headset. Um, it should come up with an, uh, uh, the icon M3 and you can connect your headset there. Once it's connected, it's just a matter of that skipping forward and back, holding it in, increases volume, um, decreases volume, etc. Um, to answer video calls, just push the uh, answer but the phone calls, just push the button. So when that is in place, these two buttons, um, this one is for the DVR, and if you hold this in for a couple of seconds, once you've got it connected to the headset, it will say DVR on, um, and it's just a matter of pushing that button in again, it will say DVR recording, if you want it to pause, DVR um, stopped. While it's recording, you can also push this button once, and it will capture a picture. Um, also, if it's recording, you can double tap it twice, or sorry, double tap it, and it will ensure that it keeps that recording um, because it records in five minute, one minute, three minute, or five minute loops, depending upon how you set it. Um, and if you're looking to connect to the, the memory card, which goes in there, you need to download the RICAM application. And when you connect to the the actual headset itself, you want you go into the RICAM app, um, click on the connect, and it will it will start searching for the the control. However, what I found is you need to have the DVR on, and then you hold in the Wi-Fi button for two seconds, and it will say Wi-Fi on. Um, and once the Wi-Fi is on, you can actually get into the app and uh, look at, you click on the the headset icon, it takes you into the SIM card, you can view all the emergency or looped video that you have in there as well and, and the pictures that you've taken. Um, what I would say is obviously there's a lot of flashing colours just now, however that's just because I've got so many things on at the one time. Uh, generally it will just be um, a kind of simple, simple blue or... or, or um, kind of green flashing light um, and that's a kind of simple uh, fast version of the instruction manual um, in general the instruction manual could be a bit clearer but that outlines the kind of key points that you need to be able to, to work this what I would recommend um, as I've noticed from my own videos is uh, when you're putting on to your camera uh, your helmet make sure that you've got the angle correct because mine's looks slightly down um, so it's maybe even worthwhile um, having it slightly raised. Um, but you can actually go into the application and see um, how it looks at the same time. So you can have a, a check of how you will, will how the video will look um, as it happens. Hopefully that helps um, and makes it easier for anyone using this. Um, all in, kind of cheap and cheerful um, approach. Uh, the part of our battery life with the videos, it could be a bit, bit longer, but from a, a Bluetooth headset perspective, um, I've never run out. It does me a full, uh, full journey, um, and it's it's shooty in. Uh, once you get the, the hang of being able to use it, uh, no problems at all. And the customer service from the the company is, is spot on. Cheers.